Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today we're taking a look at a deck that I have made here on PDCGO that I call Eridos, and uh, basically it uses Orangaroo, Aerodactyl, and the brand new Rampardos from Ultra Prism to create this synergetic deck. So let's take a look at this deck and what it's all about. So the idea is you're using fossils, so you have Rampardos, which we've covered before, and we also have Aerodactyl. Now, both these fossil Pokemon can be interesting to get into play. Aerodactyl is a little complicated. You can play Old Amber Aerodactyl. Look at the bottom seven cards of your deck. You may reveal an Aerodactyl you find there and put on your bench. Unfortunately, it has to be the bottom seven cards. There's not really any good way to rearrange that either, to be honest with you. But, you know what? We do have a Rangaroo's Resource Management, which could help you out quite a bit with doing this. Put three cards from your discard pile on the bottom of your deck in any order. Now since Old Amber is so hard to hit sometimes, we do have resource management as a way to fuel them back in. Mainly Rangaroo is just a really good starting Pokemon. As you see, you have Rampardos and Cranidos, but you can't start with Unidentified Fossil, which is how you get them in play. Now, okay, listen, before I get any comments, before you start typing, you can run Rare Candy and go Rampardos. That's, I don't like doing that, that's a little too clunky. You have to already get an item in play and then use another item to get another... I don't think it works, in my opinion. Rare Candy, Rampardos. It's, an e it's a decent idea, but we probably have to play Timer Balls. We'd have to play Rare Candy, and I'd rather, honestly, just go Cranny Dose. But, I mean, if you want to run a Rare Candy or two in here, it's not possible. It's, you know, you can get them back fairly easily because you do have resource management. Now, Rampardos, we we know is pretty good. Clean Hit's a pretty solid attack for 1 energy to 60. If your opponent's active is in evolution, does 60 more damage. So luckily, Rampardos can just one-shot Zoark GX very easily. And you know what? You're going to do big damage to other evolutions because this format right now is very evolution heavy. So Clean Hit is going to do big damage. It's not always going to one-shot. It's mainly just going to take Zoark out in one hit. But it's still good. We have Wild Crash, which is not bad either. For three fightings, if your opponent's active Pokemon is a basic, it's knocked out. This could be a nice attack. It's a little hard to build up because Rampardos isn't the most bulky Pokemon. It'll probably get knocked out anyways by the time you even get a chance to Wild Crash. But the option is still there. And we have Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl is actually pretty good also. Now, it does have 120 HP, which is kind of unfortunate because it gets one-shotted by Zoark and Galissapod fairly easily. But you do have Jet Draft for a DC. does 120 damage. Discard a Special Energy. Could be good disruption. A lot of decks rely on Special Energy right now. And 120 damage, once again, is a very solid amount of damage to be hitting. Also has free retreat, which is another bonus. And Aerodactyl is hard to get into play, but again, because of Orangaroo's resource management, we can try and do it and just chain it. And just get back those old Amber Aerodactyls, put Aerodactyls in the bottom of the deck if they're in discard. And then hopefully they don't we don't get end or something, and then we can pull off and use Aerodactyl, which is pretty nice. So we do play one Buzzwool um, with Jet Punch, of course. Now, I want to play Tapu Koko in here. But I like Buzzwool more because Jet Punch is just a stronger attack. Um, again, you, this isn't a one-shot kind of a deck. You know, Rampardos will one-shot certain Pokemon. Aerodactyl won't. So you can always finish them off with a Jet Punch for later on. It's kind of the idea there. Two Lele's because we need Wonder Tag. And that's all the Pokemon we have. And I went with a 3-3 three, three line of Rampardos. One Field Blower. Just, you know, it's always nice to Field Blower stuff away. Two Fossil Excavation Kits to be able to get our old Amber Aerodactyls back. We do play four copies of these. We need to go all in and play four because we need to maximize the Aerodactyl potential. I do play one Special Charge because we do rely on Special Energy. And we have a like, unlimited supply of this with Resource Management. One Stretcher to get back our Pokemon, put stuff in the deck like Aerodactyl or whatever. Four Ultra Balls, search for our Pokemon. Four Unidentified Fossil, I have to play four of these because again, we have to increase the odds of starting um, or getting these in our opening hand. We do play one Skyla to help with that also. Three Cynthias for draw, three Guzmas. Obviously, just standard cards. Three ends, three Sycamore is also pretty standard. One Skyla, once again, to grab our items. Because there are some big items. We can always do Skyla, turn one for Old Amber. If we know we're hitting Aerodactyl, for some reason, we know the odds are pretty good. And it may seem like a heavy amount of supporters, but I personally think it's fine. There's a lot of stuff you'll find in your hand that you cannot play. Sometimes you're going to get, like, three Aerodactyls in your hand, or two, and that'll decrease the odds of you hitting them off of your old Amber, so you have to play Anne or Cynthia to put them back in the deck. That's kind of the logic behind me playing so many supporters. Two Choice Bands for the extra the extra damage. It's not too important. Jet Draft, 150, not a good number. 
clean hit, yeah, I guess with strong energy, so, and plus, again, with a Rangu, it's like, we don't really need to worry about not being able to get our choice pain. It's also why we don't play Palpat in this deck. Three float stones, three retreats important with a Rangru having a two, and even Buzzwool, and even Cranidos and Rampardos. Um, we did play two strong energies for Rampardos and Buzzwool. Three basic fightings mainly used for Rangaroo, Rampardos, and Buzzwool. Because DC is for Aerodactyl. But we can also use DC for Profound Knowledge. I've actually used this attack against a Guardi deck when I was testing this last week. And yeah, th that DC Profound Knowledge actually came in handy. So who knows? But yeah, this is my Rangaroo Rampardos Aerodactyl list. I like it quite a bit. It's a fun little rogue. We're going to try it out here on PC Joe. And we're going to see... If this deck has some potential as a fun fossil deck, and uh, we'll see, we'll see. And we'll hopefully show off resource management, and hopefully we don't get unlucky with Aerodactyl. I swear, Aerodactyl, be good to me. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in a minute with some games with the deck. Alright, here we go. Let's find some matches with this deck. Let's see how this deck goes, folks. We're up against a Guardi deck, most likely. Don't know what the metal type is. Or maybe it's not Guardi, maybe he's playing Mr. Mine, actually, is what I'm thinking. Could be Mr. Mime. So let's see what we're going to... Oh, Lele. That's not a very good starting hand. Rip me. Rip me. We are going to be able to get a Fossil down at least, which I guess is cool. But the rest of our hand is kind of... Oh, he's playing Doug Trio. Okay, we drew an Ultra Ball, which is fine. Um, only problem is we have such low HP attackers. I could actually get Buzzwool, maybe... Next turn, you know, take out Diglett. kind of feel like doing that. Because I don't know if the other Lele's in the deck or not. So I think we'll get rid of... We'll get rid of... Okay, we'll get rid of Choice Band. And I think we'll get rid of Rescue Stretcher. Don't think I'm going to need those. Definitely not going to need Choice Band. And I think... Yeah, yeah, I knew the other Lele was going to be prized. I just knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew the Lele would be prized. So I'm actually going to grab Buzzle. I guess next turn, we'll set him up to maybe we can Guzma, take out a Diglett on the bench, something like that. Buzzwell can take a hit for now. Maybe target like a Star Yui plays, you know, probably try to prevent a Star from hitting the board until we can set up. Until then, we're chilling. So we see Mount Coronet come down. We only have one field blower. He does do Lily, but it's only for three, which, you know, could be worse. We don't get another Pokemon down. We aren't going to win because unless I can draw one of my three float stones, he's going to live. But I'm assuming he gets another Pokemon. He does have an Ultra Ball. He's probably going to get two medals is annoying because now he has Mount Cornet. I don't know. Dugtrio is clearly the new meta, guys. It's clearly the new meta, honestly. If Dugtrio... I'm recording this before, I think, the, the regionals that's happening this weekend. And I'm telling you, man, Dugtrio is going to make top five. It's, it's going to be the top five deck, man. It's just too good of a deck. It's, it's the best deck in the format. At least he can't do Bridget if he was trying to do that this turn. Okay, he grabs it. He does play Mr. Mime, then, because that fairy would be mine. Uh, I'm kind of worried about a Mr. Mime hitting the board, then. Not going to lie. At least we can take out a Diglett here, which isn't too bad. He's actually opting to put the medals back, which is interesting. Oh, okay, I guess because he might get field blowed, I guess, sure. Um, but hopefully we can draw something, because, I don't know, if he has a turn where he just takes out Buzzwool, I probably just lose. That's not helping game. Thank you for giving me a draw that I didn't need. Well, that sucks. I guess we have to Jet Punch. We can take out Diglett. Hopefully our prize gives us something good. That's not anything we need, so that's not good. We're not drawing very well, and... I think if Buzzwell gets knocked out here, we're probably done for. I don't think we can do much after that. I mean, if we somehow found a Cranidos and Energy, yeah, we could probably knock out the Duck Trio, as long as we put a Diglett down, but it's like, it's still bad, because it's not, I don't know, we'll see, but the Buzzwell has 190 HP, it should take a hit, but he has such a massive hand, and I, oh, he just concedes, well, <laughs> never mind, we don't have to worry about uh, losing that Buzzwell. Okay, well, oh no, he didn't play Mr. Mime. The Ribombi was the 1-1 one, one card. Interesting. So we're going to win a game. I'm going to see if I can get those 600 coins by tonight. That'd be nice. Don't really care about the uh, the Crimson Invasion packs, but those 600 coins would be really nice to have, obviously, because, you know, that can get me, what, three Ultra Prism packs from the shop? 
So we'll find another match. Hopefully we can get a better starting hand. And another Guardi deck. Right? No, wait. What's that fighting type then? Don't tell me you're playing Mime. Why is everyone playing Mr. Mime all of a sudden? Alright, let's see what we start with. Okay, we're going to Mulligan. Kind of revealing what we're playing, which I don't like. But hopefully we can start with a Rangaroo or Buzzwool this time. Instead of starting with Tapu Lele. That would be great. Alright, nice. Wow, we actually almost started with Lele again, but it's fine. We actually have a decent starting hand, too. I'm probably just going to play Ultra Ball here. And probably just grab a second Orangaroo. And we'll see what my opponent is playing. He is playing Guardi. Alright, so we drew a Guzma. Don't need to play that. Uh, so what we'll do... Oh, I don't know if I want to do this or not. <laughs> do I play the, the, uh, the old Amber first, or do I wait? I think I'm going to play it first anyways, because why not? And I did not work. Rip. Okay, so we will Ultra Ball, get rid of... Maybe I should have brought the Lele back, but I don't know. We only have two Aerodactyls in the deck. That's actually kind of bad. Aerodactyl's good in this matchup to get rid of those DCs. Um, we could do Lele for Skyla and get an Unidentified Fossil down. I don't mind that, but then maybe next turn we can profound knowledge the Zorua or the Ralts and knock it out. I don't hate that idea either, not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna do Sycamore. We can always get back everything we discarded. We didn't hit an energy, which kind of sucks, but we are able to get an unidentified fossil down. And we can pass. We'll see what happens next turn, of course. As long as we can set up a couple Rampardos, we should be okay, especially because this thing's such an easy, like, Zorwark's such an easy target. We can literally just win the game by just knocking out Zorwark's. We can just avoid the Gardevoir altogether. So let's see. I wouldn't mind going for Buzzwool. I could always Ultra Ball for Buzzwool here, attach Floatstone, hit, you know, an energy, and maybe just try and spread some damage on the board. I don't hate that, but I don't know how relevant it is, to be honest. He just passes. We do, do we, we do draw ADCE. So I think we'll get rid of Rampardos. Probably just Sycamore. I'm probably going to do Cynthia here. We'll grab Cranidos. I think we just go for the go for the resource management plays. I think that's fine. I'm going to hold on the float. We'll do Cynthia. Let's see if we can find any fossils. Okay, we found another unidentified fossil, which is always nice. And we can do resource management. Get back this... We'll get back Sycamore and probably Guzma. Or I could get back Tapu Lele. Problem with Aerodactyl is it's like, we get rid of the DCs, but because he has Secret Spring, it's not really that hard to just not even put the Special Energy back on. So I actually maybe think I just grab Lele here. I grab Rampardos, but we have one in our hand. We'll see if our anger goes down. Hopefully it doesn't. I think that's fine though. Actually, we'll grab a Cynthia. So kind of showing off resource management. It's a pretty strong attack if you think about it. I mean, three cards from uh, from your discard pile is kind of insane. They don't go straight to your hand, but they still go back in your deck, which is still pretty insane. Like this thing in expanded, I think would be kind of nice with computer search. We'll see if my opponent pulls off a knockout this turn. Probably will. I'm assuming he's gonna get one. And then we can just attack. I don't know. If we draw an energy, what I can do is bring out maybe the Orangaroo and then try and knock out Zoark or something. That could be the plan. We see Ultra Ball. My opponent actually attached to Zoark, which tells me he has a Retreat or like a Floatstone or a Guzma. Which I think he does because he's going to get Lele here and Guzma and knock out my Cranny Dose, isn't he? Alright, let's see. What is he grabbing? Get rid of... Okay, Puzzle and Fairy's not bad. To see go... Okay, he's actually having Zoark, so... I'm assuming he has the Guzma. He wouldn't have attached that DC if he didn't have Guzma. So another trade. Getting rid of a, another Puzzle. Okay, sweet. So now he doesn't have access to Double Puzzle anymore. Which is kind of nice. Well, if he had access to it... He could have done Evo Soda then instead of Ultra Ball. That's weird. Oh, and we got Lele. Late, late. Right. He's either grabbing Guzma or Draw Supporters. Probably Guzma, though. He wants to get rid of Cranny Dose. 
No, actually an end. That kind of sucks. I did actually really like this hand because we were able to set up some Grampardos and stuff, but I'm fine. If we can still get an Aerodactyl on line, I'm fine. Maybe we can grab Energy, Grampardos, and knock out the... Uh, oh, wow. Never mind. Rip. We had a Guzma or a Rampardos. We actually could have taken out Zoark. That makes me sad. I can put more of these fossils in play, which is kind of not. I could actually just knock out Ralts here, which I don't hate either. But again, my win condition literally could just be take out the Zoarks. So I might as well play this. Probably just do Skyla for just a supporter for next turn. Sure. I doubt this will hit. Yeah, rip. Yeah, I only have one Aerodactyl. So I think we'll have to get rid of Aerodactyl. Probably just Float Stone. Grab another Cranny Dose. Try and set up as many Rampardos as I can in case he goes into Zoar. I really just... Oh man, I think it's better to resource management. Part of me just wants to knock him out and take the prize now. But I think resource management is the ultimate best play here. I want to get back Floatstone. Seems fine. He's definitely going to take out my Ranger this turn, no doubt. I mean, if I knocked him out, you know, it wouldn't have been bad, but my Wing Edition literally could just be take out Zorks. And then maybe I can get enough damn energy and, like, Choice Band Strong Energy take out Lele, something like that. I think my win condition, though, is try to deal with these Zoarks. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. We'll see. So we see another trade, get rid of Bridget. I'm not going to be surprised if he hits Rare Candy Gardevoir here off of... Okay, now he has three Zoarks in place. So there is my win condition. There's the win condition. No, Guzma! Dang it. Good thing we are able to set up more Cranny Dose here. And I actually don't mind not losing to Ranger. I could even hit him for 60, force him to burn the DC if I really wanted to. It sucks we are losing Cranny Dose, though. Cranny Dose... Sucks. We don't even have Stretcher. We probably should have prepared for this. Did he just play Parallel? Oh, I hate that card so much sometimes. Literally in my last video, no, my, my uh, Lunala video, I I was complaining about Parallel. I, it wasn't a serious complaint. People actually thought I, I, I wanted it banned or it was going to get banned. It's not going to get banned. I was just kind of kidding around. It was basically the most... I was being like extremely sarcastic. Like I wasn't being serious. But this card is very, very annoying. But we don't even have a field there. Great. So yeah, Parallel, I don't actually think it'll ever get banned. I don't want it to get banned. I was just being very, very sarcastic. Alright, let's see what we draw. June N. There's no point in playing that. We'll Sycamore. I wouldn't mind getting another Fossil down. Okay, no Rampardo knockout, which is a little disappointing. It's actually not even a little. It's really disappointing. We do actually get an Aerodactyl, but we don't even have a DCE. To follow up and just hit him for 120. I really hope he doesn't have go another Guzma. He probably does. I think this is, this is not good. We can resource management. Hope for the best. I probably should have got. Uh, maybe I should have back Field Blower. I could actually. No, I could have gone to Stretcher, Field Blower, and saved my resources, ironically. My bad. This is just a bad situation. I can't get any can't get anything online. And yeah, he's definitely gonna get a Guzma. I am screwed right now. We are definitely not gonna. We're definitely losing our Cranny Dose. There's no way Cranny Dose is staying alive this turn. We just kind of whiffed Rampardos. If we had Rampardos, we could knock him out. And Zoar can't do enough damage to one shot Rampardos. It's just unfortunate that we couldn't hit it. Please don't have Guzma. I know you have Guzma, though. You have to have your Guzma. He's definitely gonna have a. He's got Guzma. There's no way this dude does not have a Guzma. Okay, trade. He's drawing six cards, which is insane. I don't know how many Guzmas he actually plays, but he's definitely gonna find Guzma. I'm trying to be. Yep, there it is. Oh my gosh. <sighs> oh, this is so bad. This is not the way I was hoping this game would go, but we are not getting very lucky right now, guys. I'm not going to lie. This is kind of cheesing me. 
Okay, I was actually like, if that hits. Uh, what to do, what to do. I think I'm gonna end him. Oh, we didn't get a cranny dose? We did get a DC, so I doubt that'll help much. If at all, but it's fine. 150 plus 60 is actually a knockout, but he's definitely going to retreat, so I don't see much of a point in that. We don't even have a draw supporter for next turn. Maybe I just go resource management here and try and get some resources back so I can draw. And I actually think it might be safer to do that. I hate to play it so slow, but I legit think it's more important we get back a couple cards we need. I just don't want to, like, not have a good hand, you know? I mean, maybe I could have gotten... Ooh, for some reason, my, yeah, sleeves are upside down. I think we're okay for now. Hopefully, if another Guzma hits the board in there, I lose Aerodactyl. I think I just scoop. There's, like, nothing I'm going to... Especially if I don't draw anything. We just cannot get a Rampardos online. If we, we really get Rampardos online, I think we'd be in a lot better of a position right now. Like, if we were able to get a knockout on his Zoark, we would have been okay. But those Guzmas set me back so much. Doesn't help he's drawing six cards every turn. That is just ridiculous. So, this is not good. Man, if only we were able to get two Krandos next turn, we would have been able to double up on the Rampardos. Maybe, this is kind of where I guess Rare Candy would be good. Then you don't want this, you could skip the stage. But, I, I don't know. The problem with Rare Candy is like, that's... Two cards you need when you can just go Cranny. I don't know. Maybe Rare Candy is a little better, but I don't know. At least Cran at least Crandos can actually attack. So we see another trade. Getting rid of Choice Band. What also kind of sucks, it's like the Parallel City. I can't really bench any type of Layla. I can't really bench anything. Like, it's just not good. This is like the worst case scenario for this deck, honestly. For a matchup like this, that should be pretty decent, actually. This is the worst case scenario has hit us, and we are unable to really get anything going. So that kind of sucks. But let's see what my opponent does. Is he going to knock out my active? Is he going to Guzma my Aerodactyl? I think that's double puzzle. I can never tell because the game doesn't tell you. I mean, he's just getting everything, dude. My opponent's getting... Yeah, and he gets two Guzmas. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do anything. I'm going to get a scoop. Very frustrating, but unfortunately it's the way it is. That's a good matchup for us, too. In my opinion, especially when you can get Rampardos online, but we got just pounded there. Like, he got everything he really needed. Like, he didn't really miss a beat, which is pretty pretty annoying. So it looks like we're up against Magnazone, Dustmate, Necrozma, so we'll see how this goes. If the game wants to flip the coin, there it is. Okay, leg, please go away. I don't have time for you right we're going to mulligan, revealing what we are playing. We're going to open up the ring room. Nice. Okay. So at least we're getting decent starting hands, which makes me kind of happy. Yeah. DCE. Okay. Very interesting. Well, I guess, yeah, I mean, isn't it possible to put DC on Dustmane and discard the DC in a metal? I guess that works out. I guess that's why it puts DC. So double the Rangroo start is pretty solid. I might even just honestly grab an unidentified fossil. Or maybe not, I don't know. Maybe it's the Aerodactyl show, so we'll play this. Old Amber, Old Amber, just let me down. I told you not to let me down, Old Amber. What are you doing? Uh, but yeah, I think I'm actually just going to get an unidentified fossil. Wow, we have two prizes. That's pretty brutal. So I think it's safe to get one into play now. I could attach, but I know he plays... I mean, whatever, sure. If he drops a DC, so be it. But I doubt he plays four. That would be pretty ridiculous to play four DCs in a Magnazone deck. So I doubt he'll have it, but we'll see. No my luck, he probably does. And then he two shots me. So he's going to get a turn on Bridget, possibly, unless his other Lele is prized. Oh, he's playing Solvali. Never mind. I thought he was playing Magnazone Dustmane. Okay, that kind of changes everything. Which is good, because now Solvali gets one shot by Rampardos. But I also changed everything because I assumed it was a Magnazone deck. Kind of helps. I mean, uh, Savali Dustmane's a little slower with the one-shots. No, we had the other Lele rip. 
That means he probably does have the DC in his hand because he's playing Slavali, so he plays four copies of it. So we see the Tapu Lele hit the board for Bridget. Yeah. I'm praying I don't I don't want a Rangu to take damage. Just Rangu, please. For, for, the, for one time only, just sponge a hit. That's all you gotta do. So all you gotta do is not take any damage this turn, and we should be okay. I mean, I'm, I'll be happy if he doesn't get energy damage. He only has three cards in his hand. What are the odds he has the energy to... Oh, he does play Magnuson. Why did you play Magnuson? Okay, never mind. He's playing a hybrid of both Silvali and Magnuson. He did have an energy, but it was in the one I was... I was worried about. Okay, good. So we drew a choice band. And I can actually attach that. I did not know you could do that. Wow, okay. Now, I could... Could have maybe Guzma, but it doesn't matter. Okay, we got Ultra Ball... So we'll get rid of Guzma, and I think we'll get rid of... This is actually a tough choice. I, unfortunately, I gotta get rid of Field Blower. I would like to get rid of that Mount Coronet, but I want to get rid of that. I'd, I'd rather get a Krandos. So we can get a Rampardos going next turn. Um, we can do this. Hopefully it hits. Yes. Alright, Aerodactyl. I see you. I highly doubt he plays E-Hammer. And we can do Resource Management. Get back this. Actually, we'll get back Guzma Sycamore. We might have to do Guzma first, and maybe just hit him for 120, put the pressure on early. So we're, we're setting up pretty well. This is obviously the this is how the deck wants to be played. How it's set. Oh no, the Wi-Fi symbol again. Not now. Uh, not now. Okay, he has a Sycamore. He does get rid of an energy, unfortunately. Which I was hoping that would not happen, but... I, I mean, he probably plays Max Elixir. I don't know. He plays Magnuson. Like, really clunky because you need room for rare candies and stuff. So I doubt he plays Max Elixir. But, you know, I've, I've been surprised. So he gets back Kakui and Sycamore. Kakui's interesting because then Silvali can do 140. Actually, what am I saying? Never mind. I thought Rampardos had 140 HP for some reason. But again, my brain just wasn't working there. So let's see what my opponent does. He does drop a DCE. He's going to hit me for 60. So he is going to start two-shotting me, but I could maybe find a Floatstone this turn. So we can put down Rampardos, we can end him, hopefully I don't give him a good hand. Okay, so I think we just smack him with Rampardos here for now. Keep my boy Rangry alive. Or actually we hit him with Aerodactyl. Sure. Yeah, it's fine. We'll get rid of the DC, I think it's fine. We're doing more damage, so we may as well. well. Actually, no, we're doing the same amount of damage, right? 81. No, okay, yeah, we might as well do the extra. Sure, whatever. Fine by me. I mean, you can always finish him off, too, with a Rangu if you really want. And let's see if he finds a Magnezone. I mean, he could always definitely find Magnezone and a Knockout. He doesn't. He actually just Cynthia's. And before, this gives him very candy Magnezone. I don't think he plays a heavy Magnezone line. From what I'm assuming, he maybe only plays, like, a 2-2 line? Okay, he plays Magneton. I actually kind of want to see what his list looks like, not gonna lie. It's an interesting idea. So, Volley with Magnezone. Oh, he found another DC. At least he doesn't knock me out, though. So, he gets back one metal. Oh, ow! Ow, I just pulled a muscle in my foot. Ow. That hurt. Alright, let's see what we draw. DC. Okay, so if I want, I can take him out of the Rangru and save Aerodactyl, which I kind of like the idea of. It's all about resource management, people. It's the theme of the deck. I guess we'll grab Lele. If it's in the deck, but I'm pretty sure it is. I don't know. So let's see what we are going to I could also Guzma. We can, we can take out the Sovali, actually. I don't mind that, act. Yeah, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. You lose this at free retreat option. So sure, let's actually take out... So if, or I can hit the, the dust main, but I think I actually take out Silvali here. Rampardo's really only good for taking him out anyway, so it's not a big deal. 340, wow, let's see. Hopefully we get a supporter. We do get another Cranny Dose, which is good, so we can evolve this. But we should be okay for now. I think what I do, I actually... If he brings in the Dustmane Necrozma, so Lele can't knock me out, and then we knock him out anyways. What I do 
I think I confuse him, because he doesn't have another Silvali online, so I think I'll, I'll confuse him, and then it's going to be even harder for him to attack. I think that's the strat here. So let's see if he's able to take down my Rampardos. I don't think he had any metals, yeah, so he has to get Magnezone and two Metal Energies to take me out. Now let's see if he is able to pull it off a Sycamore. Okay, get rid of a Cyrus and a couple other supporters. That's good. Cyrus is kind of nice, actually. That could have been annoying. He does find Magnezone. He probably has two medals in his hand. He just drew seven fresh cards. Rampardos did its part, so I'm fine with that. I don't mind losing my boy Rampard or yeah. Rampardos, you know, served his purpose. Wild Crash wouldn't be bad either to one-shot him too, but it did its job. It took out, took out a Pokemon it can one-shot, so I'm fine with that. And I can confuse him here, slow him down a little bit, and go from there. Oh no, he can actually do his GX attack if he wants. Okay, that could be interesting. And he had oh, Cordy has this on. I just saw. Oh, I forgot about this. Shoot, he actually has Dawnwing's Necrozma to help him out. Never mind. Uh, yeah, the strategy of me doing the confusing is not going to be as effective. Especially when you can do Mount Cornet Rip. I didn't think of that. Did he GX attack? He didn't. Okay, I, I don't know why he didn't do his GX attack to save the energies. But, that's cool. Alright, what do we draw? No, I was hoping for a supporter. I don't want to do this, but I gotta grab a Lele. He only has four cards. He's burned so many supporters, so I think I can just grab a Sycamore. I could grab Guzma, knock out Tapu Lele, but we need to deal with this thing. Lele can always be finished off. I doubt he plays Max Potion. He might play one Ace Rolla, and if he plays it, so be it. Okay, we didn't get any energy off of that, which kind of sucks. Is, uh, I don't know if I do want to confuse him, because he can always go into Dawn Wings, but this way we force him to find four energies to knock me out. And then we can finish him off with Aerodactyl if he just retreats. He might actually try and knock me out Lele, and then we can just Guzma him. So I don't mind this place. So what we can do is we can... Yeah, confuse him, force him to do this, see what he does, and then Guzma, 120, knock him out, sure. Or he can always flip for the confusion hit, but he'll get knocked out by Aerodactyl. But if he does play any max potions or ace rollers, this is really going to disrupt me. At least, though, the deck's working. The deck is working, so I'm proud. I guess we showed off one game where it's like, the deck kind of doesn't work, and then, you know, we show a game where the deck's, you know, working pretty well, you know. When this deck gets going, which it's not too hard, it is pretty fun. Though I do kind of need to do a resource management, because I'm actually, yeah, I think we have to. I need to get back a Guzma to try and seal up the game on Lele. But I'm able to do enough damage anyways to win the game with just Rampardos and an Aerodactyl, so we'll see. Hmm. I wonder what he's thinking. Maybe I should hit him for 120, force him to take out Aerodactyl, and then I can always soften him up. And then finish him off later. No, DCE. Okay, now let's see if he find if he has another metal energy in his hand. But again, if he does that, we knock him out there. Oh, he has 130 HP. Crud, I forgot. That changes that. <laughs> Bruh! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> dude. Oh my god, I just got oh, I just got trumped. If he knocks me, oh my gosh, I got trumped so hard. Oh, that is so bad. I just got trumped. I didn't see the Ace Roller coming. I predicted he played one, but I didn't think it would be in his hand, and that just completely shut my play down. But now I'm kind of glad I didn't do 120 to him. Dude, that sucks. He can actually just GX me, which is even more annoying. Oh, well, that works too, I guess. Never mind. Forgot about Claw Slash. That Ace Rolla is so bad, dude. That just screwed me over so bad. I'm just gonna do Cynthia. Alright, let's see if we can find something. 
I wouldn't mind getting another Aerodactyl in play. So we can do 150. And then maybe find DC, knock him out with Lele. Let's try this. If you do another Ace Roller, though, I'm going to cry. So, please don't have another Ace Roller. I think if the Ace Roller is, I actually don't know if I can do anything about it. Because we don't have another good attacker on the board. And I can't use Lele, because it's easy for him to knock him out. I have to, maybe I can rely on N, though. N could save me. But we don't have Field Blowers, so we can't get rid of that Stadium. Alright, let's just see if... If he does Ace Roller, though, this could be the end of the game. This could very well be, like... It's going to be hard to really recover from that. But if we do... I mean, I think what I have to do is maybe at some point do a resource management. Alright, so he's going to knock me out. And we could actually just take him out with Cranny Dose, which is kind of nice. Which I think I'll be forced to do if I don't find DCE. Find DCE. So we'll end him to 3. Hopefully we don't give him anything. Yes! Alright, we got Rampardos. Actually, I can hit him with Rampardos. And save the Lele. Which I might do. But I think I'll go with Lele, because I doubt it'll get knocked out. We gave him three cards. So we'll see what the odds of him actually getting the knockout is. And unfortunately, we don't have Guzma to try and wrap up the game. There's Aerodactyl. So we can always use Cynthia next turn, and maybe we can hit it. Because we should have, I think, two left. And let's see if my opponent is able to take out Lele. If he takes out Lele, this is actually probably going to be the end of the game. Probably is, unless we can draw Guzma. But the, hopefully this end of three sticks. He's played a lot of supporters, so I'm praying that this end of three did something at least. Okay, he's going to do Mount Coronet. I mean, can he knock me out? I don't think he can. It's a lot of damage he has to do. So we should be safe. I haven't seen a choice ban yet, which kind of sucks. I don't know if he plays it. I doubt he does. So he does the DC on the Lele, so that confirms I don't think he has to knock out. Obviously, he can't knock me out with this type of Lele. He has to go into the benched one. It wouldn't be bad to try and wild crash him at some point either. But I don't know. Hopefully, we can just actually just draw Guzma to wrap this game up. That's a lot of energy, but we are going to survive this, I'm pretty sure. Actually, I think we're literally living with 10 HP. Yeah, I think we are... We definitely survived this hit, unless, like, I'm wrong. But if I end you into a hand where you knock me out, I'm gonna throw my laptop out the window. We literally 10 HP. Take in this end of three, almost gave him the, the game. The, that's just... Yeah, that's, in, that's something else. Play that. So we didn't draw the game... Hmm. Wait. I could just attach, right? Yeah, I could just do this. I think we... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's win. That's win? I'm pretty sure that's game. So, just in case my math is wrong, I'm gonna try and set myself up a little more. Pretty... Yeah, that is game, right? Because he did 160, so I'm pretty sure we have game. Just to be sure, though. Just in case... Wow, okay, so you decide to hit at the end of the game. Don't mind me. This is game, right? Okay, it is. Sorry, never mind. Never mind, we are able to pull off the game. I thought the math was going to be wrong, but I'm just making sure, guys. I'm trying to play safe. Because if, if Lele went down there, it's like one prize left. Not too hard to knock out Rampardo, so Rangru, um, or Aerodactyl. We got 100 coins. Maybe we can buy a pack. And are we going to be able to get this daily done? Nope. But yeah, that showed off the deck pretty nicely. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And we'll open up a pack to round out today's video. But I think we showed off the deck fairly nicely. You know, we showed off the win. You know, we showed off how the deck can work and then how the deck cannot work. Um, which is fine. It kind of sucks, you know, that Zork matchup should have been easier. Um, but again, like, those Guzmas and, like, three Zorks and play apes. Too much to handle. But we'll open up an Ultra Prism pack. Pray that we pull a Full Art Cynthia. So let's see. Bruh, a good pull. Now I have three. Now I can actually make Glaceon decks again. Might do Quad Glaceon, guys, even though I need a fourth one, but I think you can play Quad Glaceon with three. 
I mean, I'm pretty sure Sylveon only plays tree nowadays. Luxio's not bad either. I could probably honestly get a pack for these, so we'll see. But the Glaceon pull is insane. Thank you, game. Good pull. So thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to Home in the Road to 3,000 subscribers. It'd be greatly appreciated. Eridos, is it a good deck? Um, yeah, I like it. But it's a fun fossil deck to try out. And you can always, you know, try different builds of this out. You know, take out Buzzwool. Maybe add an Octillery in the deck or something. Rangru. Like the other Rangru, obviously, with Instruct. And you can try out the Rare Candy method for Rampardos. I, if we if we had that, in, if we may have actually been able to deal with that Zork match a little bit better because we would have been able to go Rare Candy into Rampardos instead of Cranny Dose. Play we don't get Guzma to knock out, so that kind of sucks. But thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in another PCO video. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Catch you guys later. Bye.